Welcome back to Sussex Farms for episode 23 with me, Mr. CDP. Okay, I was just about to hook up because I've taken on another transport job because you know, I do when there's nothing else to do. There's fertilising jobs, there's transport jobs. Whatever pays the best is what I'll grab. My pigs, uh, these seem to bounce backwards and forwards between having a mix in there and not having a mix in there. We're good to go on the farm, everything's alright. I'm waiting for my crops to dry on field six, although I've got one small section where the crop failed and I've got one small section where the crop's already withered. Um, so time for a new truck lorry lorry we're off to Lorna's lorries um, road trip must be time for a road trip I'm gonna give this a wash first we're gonna head off and we're gonna get a new truck lorry we're in England lorry ah okay someone seems to have the scaraflex there oh yeah that reminds me um, Duncan thank you I'm gonna swap this out the Scariflex uh, for the Agromash BM75, I think it is. BM75, I'm sure it's somewhere. Uh, which uh, he assures me does exactly the same thing, runs faster, and is cheaper. So uh, I'm going to try it. So I'm going to give this a wash anyway because it's absolutely filthy. Move it out of the way. Give the truck a quick jet wash. Oh, we'll be good to go, I think. Have a look. It's got to be pretty much there. Can I reach the truck? Yeah, we'll do it from here. I suppose technically this is American, this one, so it is a truck. Fantastic, right. Don't want it to move. We'll sort that out at a later date, but let's go. The last time I did a road trip might have been from Marwell Manor. Possibly was it Marwell Manor? I know I did one on FS17 when I was on this map. On, I fall from Oakfield. I did Oakfield this and somewhere else. I did three maps in one episode, which was pretty cool. I like well, I like doing this. The setting up of stuff is uh, 
quite interesting. Although over time I have had to tweak how I do things because I think the first time I ever did this, people said there were discrepancies between um, the times were out, the amounts of money were out. There was also so I have to be very careful now how I do it all. <laughs> oh dear. But obviously the the, the finances may be slightly out because on the way I'll probably stop for a sandwich or a bit of bite at lunch or something. So I'll see you there in a little while. It's 1.37 in the afternoon. We stop for a bite of lunch on the way over and we are at Peterville. This is where Lorna's Lorries is. Down, actually not far from the store. So we're going to head down there, see what they've got available, pick ourselves up a new lorry. I know I've said it before and I'll say it again. <laughs> there are so many maps. <laughs> so when you do first look map tours and then they get updates and various different things, how do you choose your map? How, how do you... That's a good question. How do you choose your map? What, what criteria do you look for in a map? Um, because, I, you know, I'm looking at starting my... Because I know we run two Let's Plays. I want to do something a little bit different. Um, but there are so many maps out there at the moment that... Kind of tick all the boxes. I've got to make sure I go the right way here. Hang on. Uh... I don't know the area very well. Let me just ch check my sat nav. Yeah, it is turning here, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. So yeah, I don't, I'm really not too sure. I'll have a think. There's a, two or three maps I've been kind of waiting for to come out and I don't know if they're going to be... I'm in no way chasing modders and map makers and doing that constant... When's it coming out? When's it coming out? They'll come out when they come out. That's kind of how it works. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, really. Put my toe down. Probably get myself a parking fine. That parking fine. <laughs> That'd be interesting. The speeding fine. Oh yeah, have I mentioned that? I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. Sandy Bay. Uh, apparently, according to sources, um, Oxygen David has put speed cameras on the map. I think I might have mentioned it before. So you can get speeding fines if you go through a speeding camera. It takes money off your thing. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> so, uh, oh, there we go. Over to the left. There it is. That's Lorna's lorries, but we've got to get to it. Oh, very fancy. Cool, let's have a look. There must be something there. There must be something. If there's anywhere that's got what we're looking for, it's Lorna. When we get back to Sussex, we've got, uh, hopefully the crops will be dried, fingers crossed. So it'll be a new harvester too, depending on how much we spend here, of course. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I'm looking in the region of 200,000, that's what I'm thinking. Because we'll get something for this. Cool, why should I park up? Uh, oh no, I do. Let's stick it over here. What's all going on, isn't it? Oh, looks like someone's had a spot above her.
very forward thinking, I would, I, Lorna, I think. Solar panels, wind turbine. Very nice. Keep your carbon footprint down whilst you're selling fuel chugging. <laughs> oh, dear. Vehicles. Anyway, wow, what have they got? What have they got? We have got... A couple of lizard... Oh, what were these ones? Lizard 470s? I do like the look of those. What else we got? Some SX, SX heavies. Is that one? IT runner. IT runner? Skip back. Is that a Hulk? I think that's a Hulk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Workshop out here. Oh, got a couple of man. Oh no, a phoenix. Tatra phoenix. Couple of hook lifts. Couple, two, three. Three hook lifts here. Very nice indeed. Quite a selection. I thought I was in the market for a hook lift. It's just one on the end. Oh, it's a skip one, isn't it? Is that the kipper? Round TGS kipper, isn't it? Yep, so it looks like it. D754s. These are underrated. Uh, I, I think I used one on Marwell. They're fairly cheap and and fairly low, fairly low horsepower, but they are pull well. They're brilliant little bits of kit because you've got the various different backs you can put on them as well. Very nice. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, something having a bit of work done. Is that an aggro truck? Yep, aggro truck. So this is where it was hiding, the Griffin's lair. That's what I'm after. That's what I'm after. One of those bad boys. Look at that. But what else they got? Oh, that's the uh, plus plus, isn't it? The warrior. Well, actually, that's like the one we've got. The one we're bringing back. Different colour. And that's the Hulk. That looks like a military truck, doesn't it? The Hulk plus plus. With that kind of square, boxy, fronty look to it. But that's definitely what I'm in the market for. That's what I'm looking at. I suppose what I've got to do now is haggle. If I can find Lorna. Uh, see what they'll give me for mine. Isn't it fortuitous it's in the correct green? The green that I was after. <laughs> Bit of luck, that, isn't it? Bit of luck. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's see if we can let's let's do a deal, shall we? Nobody about. Right, I'll find Lorna. We'll sort this out. Right, quick break in negotiations. Right, I've just come down to make myself a coffee and they've given me 146,000, just over 146,000, 146,174 for our truck. That's not a bad resale price, I quite like that, which I guess they'll just then sell on. Um, sorry, to 560, we've now got to negotiate for the Griffin. So, uh, 
see you in a minute and hopefully we'll have a griffin and the bank balance will have dropped significantly so uh yeah fantastic right then handshaken all done 212,700 so we're down to 347,520 I've got to whack some st st stickers decals uh, on it as well this is now ours we have a griffin this place is amazing get on down to Lorna's lorries she's usually got something you're looking for right I'm off back to Sussex we've got work to do nice little interlude in the day but I really do have crops to sort out oh that's nice that's nice okay then I'm going to see you back there in a little while with our new toy I don't know what it is about this one I'll be honest with you <laughs> Normally, I mean, trucks come and go. The uh, the Warrior and the Hulk Plus Plus, like like those when they came out with all the options available. This, I don't know what it is. It's just, I suppose, my own personal preference. I just like the look of it. It's just, I don't know, it's right up my street. Anyway, like I said, I'll see you back there in a little while. We've got a bit of a drive. Probably stop for a coffee just to stay awake. And uh, I'll see you back in Sussex. It's just gone three o'clock in the afternoon. We're back. Our money went down, but then back up again. Um, I realised um, that we didn't have a fifth wheel. So we nipped back to Lorna's. They fitted the fifth wheel for us, which cost us about three and a half grand. Then on the journey back to here, the greenhouse here at Sussex, so we've still, quite clearly still got some manuring, um, made us a little bit of money. So we kind of bounced down, bounced back up again, but that's all good. So we're sorted. Uh, the ground wet ground icon's gone so I'm thinking field 6 we might be looking good for um, oops, knock down the cruise control a little bit there we go uh, might be good to go uh, so we are going to, need to get a harvester which we said we were going to do I'm really pleased with this keep thinking it's, it seems way longer than the warrior but it probably isn't actually that much longer because I did have the warrior reconfigured didn't I a while back to get the longer wheelbase so it fitted on with the trailer properly and I reckon if you probably put them next to each other there's not a lot in it I wouldn't have thought god the sky looks really grey again better not rain just check the uh whoa hang on a minute we doubled our drove of pigs we were up to 20 we've now got 27 wow this is going a bit bonkers i mean to be fair when i did the, the kind of reviews of them they were a little bit crazy on production uh so what we're looking at it's not showing rain at all it just looks really Rummy, didn't it? I know it's just cloud, but blimey. Okay. So I do have a, a contract open from CDP and the brewery to Spa, which isn't too bad a job, too far a journey. Um, so we'll give this a bit of a run out. I still love that. That is brilliant. I'm such a child. <laughs> it does look good. Oh, dearie me. Um, the Mississippi P Green, I, I haven't kind of... I didn't talk about it, I haven't mentioned it in all honesty. But it was the Deutzfahl Green was the one I... I mean, to be fair, it wasn't Deutzfahl Green on FS17. And it just kind of stuck, and that was Fragdad. Um, talked about that way back. Um, and it kind of stuck, so I kind of went with... Anything where you could change the colour, I kind of went with Mississippi P Green. But I found recently... I don't know, as I'm getting older, my tastes are changing. It just seemed a little bit garish on certain vehicles. 
So I thought I'd tone it down a little bit. So on this series, I think on a few others as well, I have been getting this slightly different green. Uh, but it's just, that's just a, it's just a thing. So we need to go over to there, and then we need to get a harvester. But I'm thinking the harvester might be, might be the next episode. I don't want to overload myself. It's too much excitement in one day. Two big purchases. Whoa. Did I have a meltdown? Anyway, right. I'm going to get this job done. There are a couple of other contracts available. It's that stuff you just do in the downtime, you know. Realistically, you're going to pick up the contracts that pay you the most. You're going to look down there. If you've, if you've got no jobs to do at that particular moment in time, you think, you know what, I could pick up a few bits. I could just speed up time until I have got something available. But I might as well do a bit of contracts in the meantime. Uh, you kind of... You're naturally going to gravitate towards the... The, uh, the ones that pay out well, aren't you? I mean... I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> this things are coming very, very handy. I went for the 730 horsepower as well. So we got some pulling power. 212,700. That's not bad, is it? I suppose 215, 216 when you add in the uh, fifth wheel attacher. But for the 730 horsepower and all the bells and whistles I've add, added onto it. Okay. We are here. So, I'm going to crack on with this. Stop looking at it. This is what happens when you do in cab driving. Off screen, I was just doing a bit of in cab driving, and you get to your location and find you've lost two pallets en route because you forgot to strap them down. <laughs> I don't know how this happened, but this is where they are. <laughs> oh, blimey. What am I like? Oh, well, this is where they are. I'll collect them. <clears throat> it's all good fun, isn't it? still can't believe I did that. I thought it was a glitch. I got there and thought, oh no, please tell me they haven't like dropped through the trailer or disappeared or... No. Driver error. Typical. <laughs> and I was thinking as well, what I said about getting a harvester in this episode, wait till the next one. Overload, overload. let's get it. We'll get the new harvester. I don't know if I'll use it yet, but we'll, we'll go up and we'll get it. Might, oh yeah, I could use the new truck and a low loader, couldn't I? One of the low loaders. Bring it down by low loader. I could just drive it down. I don't know. I just want to use one of the new low loaders and put a harvester on it. Uh, I've got to decide what header to get as well. I do like the Cressonis. I might go for a Cressoni again. I, I assume that'll work alright on that John Deere. Don't know. We'll see. I'll have a bit of a fiddle around. Do you want to hear something else funny? Oh, why am I come down to the transport company? I've come down to the docks. I'm supposed to be taking this to the spa. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. What is happening? Anyway, I'm going to take this to spa now. I'm not with it at all. Ah, uh, right. I just drove over there and thought, there's no hazard box on the floor. Why is there no marking? Where am I supposed to put this? And then realization struck. You're an idiot. 
Okay, all delivered to the correct place this time. <laughs> We're back up at the store. I know, you couldn't make it up, could you? Uh, right, so... I think I'm going to go with the Crisoni. I don't know. Um, we're going to go for that. The John Deere 2266. 120 grand for an 8,000 litre capacity. 17 slots. It's, you know, a bit of a no-brainer, really. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. Let's buy that for 120. That's where the money plummets. Um... Oh, I was going to lease a trailer, wasn't I? I'm going to lease a low loader to get it to where we're going. Where are we? Let's go with the SD350J. Uh, it doesn't matter what colour, we'll get it in red. It's, or should we, do we need to go John Deere colours to make it right, do we? Probably. There we go. I don't know why. Steering axle, yeah, we're better at it, aren't we? And let's lease that then. Uh, so, right, as far as header goes then, uh, we're going to need a corn header at some point, but we'll probably just lease that. But for a standard header, this comes with the... Um, which one is it? This one here, the 820. 6.1 metres. And I can go out to 7.2 with the Crisoni. I mean, it's only a difference of a metre, but... Assuming, of course, it works. Ten grand's difference. So ten grand for an extra metre. Uh, yeah, I will, because that folds up as well. Let's go John Deere. And... Oh, John Deere. Uh, yeah. CRX, right noise, no, no, so stick with that, and buy that. Okay, that's not as big a hit as I thought. I think going for the, the cheaper harvester. So we now own, own our own one. We leased the first one, and I leased the big one because it, the rain was coming, and I had all the fields to clear, and I wanted to get it done quickly. But now this is ours. It does mean as well we could pick up harvesting contracts if and when they occur, if they occur. And what I'm going to find now is that Crisoni won't work, will it? But I'll try my best. Now what I need to do is adjust this fifth wheel. I think I need to bring it forward a bit. Or backwards. Maybe. We'll have a look and see how this hooks up because this seems to be quite short at the back here. That's actually not too bad. I'll probably go back a little bit more. Bit further, just to give myself plenty of turning room. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll, well, let's put those down. Like that. Open the side like that that should be good to go let's pick up the header put the beacons on because we're going to be uh, transporting a rather heavy load it doesn't seem too bad Quite long, isn't it? Just thinking. Yep. Didn't quite get the turn right on that, did I? Actually, I did need a wider one. Yeah, this is just about going to get on here, isn't it? Actually, I don't... Nope. <laughs> Swing it round, put the back over the uh, the load bed, I think. Assuming that will fit as well. Ooh, it's going to be narrow. 
Oh, why don't we go any further than that? Oh, that's a pain. <laughs> I'll have to come back for the header. I thought it would let me back up past that, but it won't. Oh, what? Should have gone with a standard header and a header trailer and I could have hooked onto the back of this. Well, that's frustrating. Let's take the harvester, <clears throat> and I'll sort the header out in a minute. Oh, I've got an idea. Kind of defeats the objective, doing this in one go, but never mind. Right, so what we'll do, we'll fold that up. Well, like so. We'll put the beacons on all over. There is no doubt that we are coming. Everything is flashing. And yet, the bakery nutters will still drive past without a care in the world. Should be able to get through here, shouldn't it? knocking over any cones. So what we'll do is knock on the cruise control and wind that in a little bit I think. Maybe a little bit more. That's better. Just give me a little bit more control. Love it! What a combo! The truck, the low loader, the harvester, all mods, all quality stuff. The steering axles on everything. What we'll do. Swing it round there. Reverse it all the way back. And then we'll sort the header out. Turn the beacons off now, actually. We're in our own yard. I'm going to have to have a bit of a shuffle around now, actually. I think. Well, I suppose this could go into one of the big barns, couldn't it? Now the bales have gone. I could stick it in this one over here. Because it's only going to be used during harvest season, so that's the field we need to tackle next. And seeing as the pigs seem to be reproducing at a rate which is going to be uncontrollable, I'm going to need as much straw for bedding as I can get. Fantastic. Right. Uh, header. Think, think, think.
Right, up to this door with the wheel loader. There's usually a, usually a solution to most problems. And that hopefully is... We go to wheel loaders, pretty sure. There we go, wheel loader to cutter adapter. Let's lease that. Find it works. This will be the one header it won't fit on or something, will it? Just to really annoy me. Fingers crossed. Cross everything. Yes, you beauty. Oh, hang on. Okay, and we can take it back. Yes. I mean, I could have brought up a tractor with a trailer and loaded it into a trailer, and what's the point? If we're going to bring up a vehicle anyway, might as well just use this and take it back like that. Fantastic. And with that problem solved, we have come to the end of this episode. Next episode, we'll crack on with getting field six cleared, get the straw off that. I'm still deciding what I'm going to do about um, cover crop maple stick cover crop in the ground I think I'm probably going to um, and then hopefully mid autumn we should be able to harvest hmm, should be able to harvest field 13 of the corn going to need it, the rate the pigs are reproducing whilst they will make me money they're going to cost me a fair bit unless I've got enough to feed them so that's what we'll be doing I hope you've enjoyed the episode, something a little bit different. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.